I'm Missy Howard and thank you for tuning into the Trucker Barbie channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something called emergency equipment that's required uh, by the FMCSA. Okay, um, the reason I bring this up is a few weeks ago a truck driver that's been expediting for over 20 years wanted to fight me to the death over the issue of uh, me wanting to have spare fuses on the truck. Now, he said they weren't necessary, he's never been asked for spare fuses in an inspection, and that basically I was just being silly. So uh, just to show you that I'm not being silly, okay, FMCSA handbook, right? Okay, it doesn't tell any lies. Okay, so, so here we go, I'm, I'm going to read this to you, just so you know. Uh, a lot of drivers may or may not realize this, and I, by the way, I don't claim to be a know-it-all either, which is why I try to read this when I get a chance, because I might forget something I've read before, I might learn something new. I actually think that there should be coursework on this uh, before a person is allowed to go to trucking school. I really do. I think the person ought to have to read every word of it and be tested on it, because not knowing the stuff that's in here can get you some pretty bad fines and tickets, okay? Um, some judges will even say things like, ignorance of the law is no excuse. So if you don't know about something, it's your fault. It's your job to know it. So anyway, and it's my job to know it. So that's why I try to familiarize myself with the stuff that's in here. But anyway, let me read this. This is uh, from page 508. Okay, and it's under Emergency Equipment Subpart H. All right, and there's several things named here, but, but right here it is. Spare fuses. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can see it. It's somewhere around where my thumb is, I think. Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Okay, just to show you that it really is there. Okay? It says, Power Units, which is a truck for which fuses are needed to operate any required parts and accessories must have at least one spare fuse for each type slash size of fuse needed for those parts and accessories. So basically every fuse on this truck it has to be there has to be a spare fuse in the fuse box to match it. Now the problem comes in where okay who's gonna pay for that? Is it going to be the uh, carrier? Is it going to be the truck owner? Is it going to be the driver? Um, you know, that's just something you have to work out. I can't say because everybody's situation is different. Uh, the problem with the owners, they sometimes don't want to pay for this stuff because they feel like, well, drivers are just going to steal it. Or if they leave, they're just going to take the box of fuses. And fuses ain't cheap, folks. Um, so, you know, those those fuses, when a driver leaves, if, if the owner has purchased them, should stay on the truck. And they should be replenished as they're used as spare fuses and whatnot. Uh, something that I didn't see mentioned there, doesn't mean it's not there, I just didn't see it, was spare bulbs. But don't you think you ought to have a spare bulb for every bulb that's on the truck that you can reach? Now, some things are ridiculous, like a marker light up on top of the trailer. You're probably not going to be able to change that yourself. Uh, what you would typically have to do is uh, call a place of repair, tell them you were on your way, you needed to get a marker light fixed or something like that. And then they have what's called a work order because you've called in, you told them you're going to be there. And so if you do get pulled over for that marker light or whatever, you can say, I have a work order at Petro in Cleveland, Ohio, or whatever, okay, at exit such and such, and they can actually call and verify that, and believe me, they will, they will, if you tell them you've got a work order, they'll call and verify it, okay, and if you don't, they'll ticket you, they'll probably uh, keep you beside the road until a service truck comes and does the repair, so uh, pretty serious business there, and it can make you late for a load, it can also be dangerous, and I kid you not, I had a fleet manager once, and, oh my God, 
headlight went out okay and instead of uh, supplying the truck with the uh, spare bulbs because he felt like the drivers were gonna steal them or whatever um, he told me to go down the road with my brights on until I could get to a truck stop and I'm like are you serious right now because that could get me a ticket traveling with my brights on like that I mean I could cause somebody to have an accident or something like that but uh, you know some of these people out here working with truck drivers and you know stuff they they really shouldn't be because obviously some of them have never been behind the wheel of a truck and honestly don't know their butt from a hole in the ground as a result okay so even though I couldn't find spare bulbs in there as far as a requirement good idea to have them another thing you need a spare set of wiper blades because I'm telling you when you have a wiper blade go out and I've actually heard this from a trucker who had 20 years expediting experience he goes I can just go to the truck stop and get another one and I'm like if it's raining really hard or snowing really hard how the hell are you gonna see to get there what a brainless amoeba you know I'm sorry that's just brainless <laughs> come on <laughs> I don't know what to say about that I, I don't know uh, there's such a thing as being uh, too much of a positive thinker okay <laughs> uh, I think what's kept me out of trouble so much out here is I mean I'm not a hundred percent a negative person but I have the tendency to always be thinking of what can go wrong and so uh, people kind of interpret that as I'm being negative and that's not my intent um, what I want to really be is prepared you know and, and maybe it's you know the way I grew up maybe it's the parenting that I had you know my mother and my father they had very serious jobs um, and maybe some of their stuff might have rubbed off on me my father uh, worked in a manufacturing plant and he was a union grievance officer which is a job that requires a lot of thought and a lot of knowledge and you practically have to be a Philadelphia lawyer to do that and my mother was a nurse her job was very serious my parents were always very on point okay and they were always very punctual and very um, exacting about the things that they did and I guess their ways just kind of rubbed off on me so you know I, I've just been taught you know the devil's in the details and so take a close look at things and and make sure you know what it is that you're doing and so uh, I kind of get accused of being negative when I'm really just trying to get my facts straight and be prepared for situations and uh, that's all I'm really trying to do I'm not trying to uh, be a wet blanket and make everybody feel bad and this that and the other you know I'm just trying to I'm just trying to do the right thing as much as I can and keep myself out of trouble out here and not get tickets and uh, not have accidents and not you know I just want to try to be responsible out here because it's important this job is it's very demanding mentally more so than physically but anyway you know don't be afraid when you have spare time to sit around and, and spend some time with the truckers Bible you know and commune with it and you know hold it close to your heart because uh, th this is this is the this is what saves us out here knowing what's in it and complying with it okay so anyway I wish all of you safe travels and I hope you all have a great day thank you and bye bye